we're coming close to the final stretch over here. Not quite, but very close. Um, I need to add some pretty easy to add elements. I'm looking at what's next and I have these span elements that I'm looking for the share name, caption, and description. Um, and, and that I could easily do because all of this when I look at my data source is you know right there for me. I mean I have the the name of the share, I have the caption, and I have the description. Okay well let's let's rip right through it. Let me start with the first element. I'm just gonna copy the the share name and uh, let me start with my templating. I'm going to go plus and then single quotes and two quotes in between. And what's going to be dynamic in here? It's the actual stuff that's inside is uh, dynamic stuff. So I'll take that out. I'll do quote, quote, and then two plus signs in there. And it's going to be this dot, I think it's name, right? Yeah, this dot name. Exactly. Um, let me do a plus. I'm, I'm going to go bold here and I'm just going to do it all before testing each one. A uh, little, little crazy, but I'm living on the edge today. No, not really. I mean, th this seems pretty straightforward and I don't know. Hopefully, I don't have any issues. Um, okay, I'll take that, take out that middle part that's going to be dynamic replace it with those two quotes around the other static HTML plus plus now what is it going to be it's going to be this dot caption right this dot caption um, make sure you, you know usually I like to copy and paste because that's where stupid mistakes happen when you just mistype stuff um, and then the last one is going to be this sh description okay and I'll do quote there we go, plus this dot description and plus and there we go, we'll terminate the span and let's see what we get. Cool. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but it's actually we're getting all of it because it's all coming on one line, right? Because it's a span element, so it's um, it's all they're all inline elements. It's just coming down, but it's working, and so is the link to the thing that they're sharing. Now I can't forget to actually add my terminating um, HTML. Uh, declarations over here so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, I need to add well, actually let me copy that and I'm gonna need to add the anchor h6 in section to my page so uh, after this dot description call I'll do a plus and then in quotes um, I'll do just that there's my ending anchor and then I'll delete that there's my ending h6 and then here is my ending section and there we go um, and that should have no negative effect on my um, on my results let's see what that looks like come on baby good <laughs> 